Hi, I'm Lisa the Ukulele Fool. I'm here with two women that I have admired for, for a year now, <laughs> at a distance. Um, they are ukulele players that I met here at the Brown County Ukulele Festival. We have Wendy, Wendy, and I keep forgetting your last name. Wendy and Smith. Wendy Smith <laughs> and Marsha Stanford. And they are absolutely dynamite performers. And I say that that's, <laughs> I love hearing them play and sing in harmony. And take it away, ladies. Tell us about these superpowers that you have. Well, we, uh, I think the most superpower we have is just playing together because we kind of click with that and so we run with that and try new stuff. And, and it first started with us liking the same kind of music. Mm -hmm. Wendy knows every song I've ever written, but, yeah. <laughs> but we did find that our voices were compatible, and, yeah. and really when we first started, Wendy has more of a music background than I do, but when, when we first started, I wasn't very good at doing harmony, and just because of the nature of doing it with someone, it really... Mm -hmm. So we like Everly Brothers, like... You know, the Secret Sisters, yeah, yeah, Sweethearts of the Rodeo. Well, I remember when I, first I heard the first time I ever saw you, you were singing um, Bye Bye Love. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, by the pool. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I played guitar since I was a teenager, and I happened upon the uke, and there were these free lessons for uke, and so I figured, I'm going to go check it out, and I went, and... I actually, before I got to the, it, the, the lesson was a few days away, so in the meantime I went to the library and checked out a book and I got to the class and I actually knew more than the instructor did. <laughs> he, he showed the whole class three chords and that was pretty much it and I already had the handle on those. So. Yeah, so, well, yeah and I just so, like yeah, guitar singing. You did? Oh my gosh. So that. then I joined the Maui, which is Madison, Wisconsin, that's our ukulele. Club Madison and, Area Ukulele Initiative. Yeah. Maui. Maui. That's and, great. Uh, yeah, now I don't play guitar anymore. I picked it. I still have a really nice Martin guitar, but it's too big and there's too many strings on it, and I just prefer my ukes. So. Well, Wendy's husband is a professional uh, guitar player. I do still. I play baritone uke as well, so that I wouldn't lose my guitar. So. Yeah. Keep so, your chops up. Yeah, and that's that's was a really good idea because it. Same chord formations on both instruments, but a, a G here is a D here, and yeah. so it's just it, it's good for the brain, and that's so yeah. yeah. Getting a little older, and I can use all the help I can get, so yeah. my baritone has saved me. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get to the ukulele, Marsha? Well, um, I always loved music in my life. I mean, in high school, you know, I sang in choirs and that kind of thing. Um, played the cello in fourth grade. For, Fit through eighth grade or something, but then I didn't have any, and so I had more free time. My kids were growing up, and I knew I wanted to meet, do music, but I didn't want to make an investment until I knew I'd stick with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is kind of ironic now, six years later, yeah. <laughs> taking up all my time and my free time. Intervention time. Yeah, right, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> she so, just bought a new one yesterday, actually. <laughs> oh, well that, well, that was the other thing. Um, I, when I first, I, my first one was an $80 Cordoba that came with a little book. Then I started finding things online and it all snowballed. And then my husband started getting interested in the instrument itself and he was like shopping on eBay all the time for, and I had quite a collection yeah. for a short amount of time. <laughs> So where you you obviously perform a lot. It's it comes across when you when you perform. When I've heard you perform, that you're very seasoned performers. You know you've got it down. Where do you perform? Well, we do coffee shops in the Madison area and outlying areas of Madison, and we busk at the farmers market. Yeah, do a lot of farmers markets and, mm -hmm. and nursing homes and ball games and libraries and. Yeah. Whoever, whoever will have us will go. Well, and there's a, a, a local um, barbecue restaurant slash ice cream parlor who has a um, sort of a country jam every, once a month. 
And so we started going there regularly, and then we found these other guys who did a regular gig. And, th and there wasn't just ukuleles, so we, I certainly got a lot more music training that way. Uh -huh. We were the only ukes at most of those jams, but yep. it's, it's a good way to learn. It's a good way to play with banjos and guitars and stuff and just kind of bring your uke in and play and you can learn an awful lot that way. And, and going without music is a yeah. big, big, big step. So would you say, would you give that as advice to you know, the absolute beginners that I knew, try to get away from that music as soon as possible? Yes. Well, because yeah. when I played guitar, I, I never had paper music in front of me, ever. I mean, I'd learn the song and then they would go in my book and I'd never see the paper again and it was just up here and... Yeah. And then when I joined Maui, everybody's got the, blue, the music right in front of them for every single song. And, to, and when you play out that way, it just takes away from the, the how you're playing, I think. And you know, so I yeah. So I, if I'm learning a new song, I'll play it every day for however long it takes, so that I can put the paper away. You know. Uh -huh. so. And that's where I fall short because I it takes me forever to memorize, and then I get stage fright and I don't remember the chord progressions. I'll remember the words, Wendy remembers the chord progressions. <laughs> so you might see me pretending a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, well, you know, it's nice to know you're human. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And then, you know, you players are the friendliest people there are, truly. We're, what, we're here at the Brown County that? Inn with, I don't know how many hundred or some more people. Well, and it's a, it's, it looks like a toy, so people don't have a huge ego because they don't, I mean, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you see what people can do with it, you know, like Stu yes. and Tom, oh my and God. It, it's just amazing. It, you can do anything on a ukulele that you can do on a guitar, and it's just very nice. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a such a nice song. thing. Any it's, song you want to do, you can play on it. It's hard to offend somebody with a ukulele. Yeah, that's right. Although there's some that manage. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> At UWC at about 2 a.m. Yeah, that, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great group of people though. I, and I, as far as a very beginner, my would be just don't give up. If you yeah. see chords that you're going, I'm never going to be able to do that. You will just practice, 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 and it's well worth it. So. Yeah, I remember my first two chord songs feeling so accomplished. Because I could change chords. Two chord, chord songs, but yeah. I'm a believer yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you and, gotta and start somewhere. When I first started, I was like obsessed. I was really, I would sit for hours and my husband would say, Can I go to bed? I mean, it's like <laughs> six hours into it. What you don't see is my husband sitting over there and he's smiling. I can't go to bed anytime. She plays all the time. Yes, she should. <laughs> Yeah. So since I've retired, I, I, it's just opened many doors for me musically to venture out. My husband and I play at nursing homes, and, and you know, sometimes they pay us a little extra cash and it helps with the taxes, and you know, it's just... Well, and the, the brain thing about music, what Stu was saying today about um, just the brain changes and the mood, I mean, I... I had a person the other, a friend of mine the other day introduced me to a friend of hers and said, this is Marsha, and she plays the ukulele, and she's really happy now. <laughs> <laughs> she said she wasn't always that way. She, she's really happy now, and it's true. Well, it there, true. there you have it, folks. I, said, I think that is yeah. like sums it all up. You can see a new Prozac. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me and thank share you. this with Good. other you players or want to be you players out there. So, yeah. until the next too. interview, <laughs> bye bye. I hope you found this ukulele superheroes interview inspiring. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. I always have a philanthropic endeavor as part of my Patreon efforts. You can see my current goal and maybe consider contributing to that. Thank you so much.